Colonel North, thank you. Thank you. And right now, ISIS is spreading to more countries outside of Syria and Iraq. Tonight, 21 Christians kidnapped by ISIS. Egypt state-run news agency reported that Egypt is planning to evacuate its citizens from Libya as ISIS is on the move there. And Fox News Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge joins us. What's going on in Libya? Well, what happened in November and then also December is that nearly two dozen Christians, they're Egyptians, but they're called Coptic Christians, were taken hostage by ISIS in Libya. These are people who are there kind of like migrant workers just to make a living. And now in the latest issue of their magazine online, they're showing these individuals in the orange jumpsuits that we've associated with all of these other Western hostages. There are even reports tonight some of them may be dead, which is being denied by the Egyptians. But the bottom line is that you are seeing ISIS in Libya with this propaganda and then also the testimony we heard on Capitol Hill really getting a foothold in Libya. This is a place where we no longer have any kind of diplomatic presence. All right. Well, this is, again, more of the creep sort of mm -hmm. things get creeping. I realize that, you know, our base may not have been in danger, mm -hmm. but it's creeping towards the base. Mm -hmm. This started, ISIS started in Syria. Correct. Creep to mm -hmm. Iraq. Right. Now creep to Libya. I would, this is, I right. mean, so it's, uh -huh. it's, it's a little bit on the move. Maybe, you know, maybe it hasn't, it hasn't come to our shores that way, but it's, it's, uh, it's a creepy. Well, you're onto something in the sense that I would only sort of politely disagree with the colonel about the al-Assad air base in the sense that, to me, based on the intelligence, there seems to be three objectives here. One is to get themselves into the news in a big way because all of this propaganda really goes to the benefit of ISIS. Number two, they only have to get one suicide bomber through the perimeter of that base and kill a couple of dozen Americans to achieve a major goal. And number three, sort of the home run would be kidnapping a member of the American military. So. I don't think the objective is necessarily taking over the base. They can achieve a lot of other goals well, in, sort of in the interim. Right. Is there any mm -hmm. evidence that ISIS is hooked up in any way or mm -hmm. has any relationship with Boko Haram? We recently had a briefing on this subject, and the view of the intelligence community is that Boko Haram is sort of <laughs> draping itself in the mantle uh, of ISIS. But these analysts would be the first to admit that we don't have the best intelligence on the ground. And what I would say, based on my reporting, is that it's another example of how this is really a battle of ideas versus just a kinetic battle. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.